Hello everyone, my name is Kendra and I am a zoo educator at Happy Hollow Park and Zoo. Now, we have decided to do some virtual animal meet and greets for you all so that you can still visit with the animals even though you can't come to Happy Hollow. But of course, we want to make sure we're still wearing our protective gear because we want to protect our animals just as much as we want to protect ourselves. And of course, after handling all of our animals, we always make sure to wash our hands so that we are keeping all of our germs to ourselves and making sure that our animals stay healthy as well. So today, we are gonna be meeting one of my favorite animals to uh, show to the public, and that is our Kenyan sand boa. So I'm gonna get her out of her carrier and show her to you today. All right, everybody, so this is Machanga, and she is our Kenyan sand boa. Machanga here is just over eight years old, and she is, in fact, a female, so that's why I'll be referring to her as she. Now, she is found in the deserts of Africa, so most often in Kenya, hence her name, Kenyan sand boa. And she has this gorgeous reddish brown coloration to her scales and that may not help her blend into our deserts which are more of a yellow brown but in Kenya the sands there are more of a reddish brown so she is very good at camouflage she's very good at hiding because not only does she want to hide from her possible prey but she also wants to hide from predators so she is a carnivore, she eats meat, and in the wild, if she were to eat meat, she would mostly be looking for an animal called a naked mole rat. Oof, they don't look very cute, but they sure taste good to a sand boa. Now, she's a little bit different than other snakes, and I'm gonna see if I can get her to look at you a little bit. She has her eyes and her nostrils on the top of her head instead of on the sides. And why she does that is She's designed that way so that she can have her little face poking out of the sand while keeping the rest of her body completely hidden. And so that looks a little bit of something like this. So she's able to have her whole body hidden and then she can keep an eye out for those possible yummy little prey animals and she's called an ambush predator because what she'll do is she'll see something walk by and she'll jump out and try to grab it. Now, she's not a venomous snake, so she's not going to use venom to hunt her prey. She's going to use her powerful muscles in her body. And what she does is she basically gives her prey a really tight squeeze so that they can't breathe. She also wants to stay camouflaged under the sand because she could also be somebody else's meal if she's not careful. There are desert monitor lizards that are quite, quite large. This is a very big lizard that might try to eat her. So it also really helps for her to stay camouflaged under the sand. Now, most people know that reptiles, as a general statement, lay eggs. But sand boas are a bit of a unique animal. They are what we call ovoviviparous. Big word, ovoviviparous, which basically means that they have live birth. They give birth to their live young and when they are born they're in these sort of membrane sacs. So it's sort of halfway between an egg and halfway between a live birth. So they're a little bit odd that way. Now in addition to her odd head, her odd uh, birth cycle, they are also... Hello. Yes? You're very adventurous today. It's nice and warm today. So for Machanga, she's a bit more wiggly than usual, which for her, she's usually pretty relaxed. She likes to just hang out. So having her move around a bit is really great because it means she's nice and comfortable. Yeah. So I'm going to try to give you a little bit of a closer look at her scales. They're very small and a little bit rough. And that helps her dig into the sand. It helps her wiggle her body and it helps shift the sand around to get her in. 
Now another reason she wants to be hanging out in the sand is because it's obviously really hot in the deserts. And in the sand, underneath the surface, it cools her off. It keeps her from getting too hot. Because even reptiles don't want to get too hot. They like the sun, but they don't want to be burning up. Let's see. So she's also a nocturnal animal. She's going to do most of her hunting at night when it's also a bit cooler and other animals are going to be out and about. Because when it's really hot during the day, a lot of animals that live in the desert don't tend to be out as much because it's too hot. So they'll come out at night and so that's when she's going to have the best chance of finding something to eat. Now you may notice her flicking her tongue out. And she's actually doing something really cool. She is smelling with her tongue. So whenever you see a snake sticking their tongue out like that, they're actually collecting little particles from the air. And they take those particles and they put them in what's called a Jacobson's organ. And that's how snakes smell. So anytime you see a snake sticking their tongue out, they're smelling you. They're seeing what you smell like. I think I smell okay. She's smelling something else interesting because we're outside today. So hopefully I don't smell too weird. Yeah, but she's clearly sensing something because she's got that tongue going big time. All right, friends, so that is our friend Machanga, our Kenyan sand boa, and I was so happy to get to share her with you all today, and we hope to see you back at Happy Hollow again real soon when everything settles back down. Everyone take care and say bye. Bye, Machanga.